You are listening to The Morning Five. I'm your host, Michael Ware, founder and president of the Center for Christianity and Public Life, giving you five minutes of news and scripture, Mondays through Thursdays. Today is Wednesday, October 11th, 2023. Let's begin with, uh, with scripture. Uh, today I'll read from the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May God bless the reading of his word. Good morning. I'm your host, Michael Ware. Welcome to the Morning Five. Let's get to the news. First, President Biden made his most extended comments to date regarding the terrorist attack in Israel and the ongoing war now in Gaza. President Biden said that More than a 1,000 civilians had been killed, including 14 Americans. He called the attack pure, unadulterated evil. Uh, President Biden, as we noted yesterday, has also confirmed that Americans uh, are among those that Hamas uh, has taken hostage. Uh, President Biden called uh, Hamas's attacks on Israel, uh, terrorism. And he committed to stand with with Israel. Meanwhile, the Israeli military continues uh, its war in Gaza. Reports from officials in Gaza suggest that over 900 Palestinians have been killed. and a range of sites have been hit, including some hospitals and schools. Within Israel, uh, uh, the bodies of around 1,500 uh, suspected Hamas terrorists have been recovered, which gives an indication of the size of, of the assault on Saturday. There's no indication that uh, that that uh, the Israeli military is uh, on the verge of ceasing operations in Gaza. And again, Prime Minister Netanyahu has indicated uh, that Isra- Israelis should prepare for uh, an extended period of, of conflict and war. Uh, to that point, Israel's government has called up an additional 60,000 reservists, um, which means that 360,000 military uh, uh, members have been mobilized over the last three days. And so over the last 96 hours, thousands have been killed, Many more wounded, uh, hundreds of thousands have been displaced, and towns have been have been leveled. Here at the Morning Five, we continue to pray for those uh, affected, those in Israel, those in Gaza. Uh, we pray for decision makers. 
in Israel, the Palestinian Authority, American officials, others who need to make decisions. All right, the, the second item, uh, and, and this, is, this is related, uh, today we're going to see the House, uh, the U.S. House of Representatives, um, seek to elect a new speaker. Now it may be the former speaker, McCarthy. There are some McCarthy, uh, Kevin McCarthy supporters that are suggesting that McCarthy should be reinstated. But right now it looks like the, the, the leading uh, candidates, uh, so to speak, are Steve Scalise and Jim Jordan, both current uh, leaders in the Republican caucus. Uh, when asked... Uh, about the chances that the House would elect a new speaker um, by, uh, by today. Uh, Representative Thomas Massey, a Republican from Kentucky, said, I'd put it at 2%. And so there's a chance that a speaker emerges today. It's also possible that we have uh, multiple rounds, no conclusion, um, and uh, this, this goes you know, deeper into this into this week. One thing I will say is uh, I, I do think these proceedings will uh, take place with a bit more a seriousness, a bit more weight given, uh, given global events, particularly um, not only Republican sense of responsibility that they need to respond, but also, frankly, the the political ramifications of being unable to, to govern. And uh, it might be that combination of uh, actual policy necessity and political pressure that lead, uh, lead the House to choose a speaker uh, quicker than it might otherwise. All right, we're going to uh, leave, uh, leave it at that for today. Let's close with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad, because you are the one in charge, and you have all the power, and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. All right, friends, thank you for listening to The Morning Five. It's brought to you by the, uh, in, in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network, supported by the Center for Christianity and Public Life. We'll talk to you tomorrow.